What's up, fellas? This is J.U. speaking. You know, during the winter time, the Department of Fish and Wildlife stock lots of fish, lots of trout in a local pond. How do you catch them? Today, I'm going to share with you the simple rigs, trout rig that I use to catch them. So stay tuned. Peace out. Alright fellas, to make this simple trout rig, you're going to need a fishing pole with a reel, with some lines. This, these are stock trout, so the lines are typically 8 pounds or less. You don't need bigger lines than that. You're going to need a quarter ounce sliding sinker, number 7 swivel or smaller, number 6 size single hook. So let's get started. For the leader line in Northern California all you need is roughly 15 inches. Now if the lake is deeper then you might have to make it longer maybe 36 inches. But around this area where we're at 15 inches is all you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip some line from my main line roughly about 15 inches long to make the leader. So you don't have to buy any extra line. You can cut them off and save that and make a leader out of it. Now for this video I'm going to use a big thicker line so you can see what I'm doing. This green line here, okay? I'm going to use one of my favorite knot called a trilene knot. It's the only knot I use to tie most of my rigs. So, ready? Put this line into the hole, loop it back into the same hole. Okay. Take this tag end here, pull it out. Now you created a hole. Hold it with your fingers. Wrap this tag line between 7 to 12 times around this main line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Like I said, between 7 to 12. Bring this main line, put it back into the two loop that you have right there. Okay, and then tighten it up. Now you're going to need to wet this part right here with either water or your own saliva, saliva and then you tighten it up. Pull it tight, as tight as you can. You notice, as tight as you can. This is the only knot I used, never lost any fish on it. Okay, and cut out this extra line right there. Now you've got the hook. On the other end, so you measure out 15 inches, or maybe a bit longer because you want to make a 15 inch leader, so maybe a little bit longer. And you cut this end. And at the end now, you're going to need what is called a surgeon's double loop knot. And it's really simple. You take this tag end and you double it up like so. See? Double the line up like so. And now you're going to make a simple overhand knot here and inside once. You do this again the second time and it's called a surgeon double loop knot.
twice. See? And tighten it up. Now once again, you put some water there or some saliva, saliva tighten it up, pull on it, it's not going anywhere. And remember, these are stock trout, so you know you don't have to be very fancy. Just cut out the tag end here. And now you have yourself a 15 inch leader line. See? The bait goes in his hook, it's going to float from the bottom, and the fish will come and get it. Now, with this main line in the fishing pole, you notice I have a uh, telescoping pole here. Put the line through all these loops. Okay, make sure that it's in there. And so you're gonna have to put that co down sinker into the main line like so and now you're gonna tie the trilene knot with this swivel right here remember the trilene knot I just showed you do the same thing again on this swivel One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go back into this loop, tighten it up, put some salivas on there. Pull on it, make sure you test it so that it doesn't come out. Pull on it tight, make sure it can't come out. Okay, there you go, and cut the tag end off. That's it, you're done. Now all you need to do is put the leader that you created into this swivel, close it up, put some bait on here, and go out there and catch some fish. The bait I use is this power eggs. Remember last week when I went out and catch my limit, I forgot to bring my bait, and I found two of the bait, two of the ball, two of the eggs laying on the ground. It was this color, like this, and I caught my entire limit with it. So how to rig it up is real simple. You take this hook, put these two eggs right inside of it, like this. Let the hook expose. Like I said, they're not very smart. Make sure that you test it in the water. Make sure that it floats when you're using it. Make sure that it floats. Throw them out there and wait till the trout bite them and bring them up. It's just that simple. So remember, keep it simple. I'm going to go ahead and use this and try it out on the field and show you how effective it is. Alright, good luck out there guys.